Game Demo. Hi, I'm Aaron Cohen, uh, the producer of The Sims Medieval Pirates and Nobles. It's the first adventure pack for The Sims Medieval. And right now we're in the throne room. I'm going to take you through a little bit of a quest, and we'll meet the pirates, we'll meet the nobles, and we'll go do a little treasure hunting, and we'll torture a few Sims, and that'll be fun. Venture pack for The Sims Medieval, and obviously we've added pirates and nobles. Here we see a queen who's a big fan of the pirates. You can tell from the cool decor in her map room and the cool throne, which is called the Booty Throne, everyone's favorite throne, as well as the Tiki Lounge over here. You can see the Tiki chilling in there. Now, the pirates obviously have a very different vibe than the nobles. The nobles, the pirates have invaded from the south through the water. The nobles have come in from the north. And the nobles, if you are a player and you choose to go in the noble direction, will look... Oh, sorry, there's a bit of a load time here. Again, because I'm cheating a lot. Ah, so the nobles obviously have a very different aesthetic. The, the nobles are way fancier and fancier than the pirates. You can tell big, big difference in attitude too. Um, down here, we will meet the pirates. Now, when the game begins, both sides arrive and start causing trouble immediately. We're going to cheat our way down to the beach. So, as my queen is a big pirate fan, she's going to say hello to the pirates first, and she will. First, say hello with a very traditional pirate handshake. They look both ways, and there goes the pirate handshake. This actually took hours and hours of designers choreographing the handshake. Any designer of The Sims Medieval Pirates and Nobles can do this in their sleep. That was the pirate handshake. Now, the fun thing to do when you're a pirate is you can have a parrot. I'm going to call my parrot. It is a black parrot, but there's several different colors. And here comes the parrot. When I have a parrot, I could talk to it. I could feed the parrot. We'll give the parrot a, a, a cracker. Perhaps the most fun is I could send the parrot to attack someone. I'll send her off to attack the dread pi Captain Clarissa. And off that pirate go, uh, the parrot goes. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Oh, that looks very unpleasant. So, nothing like a parrot attack. Then my character, my sim here, Lady Mildred, finds that hilarious. Now that we've met the pirates, so we'll head on out and meet the nobles. The nobles arrive from the north. They are here to get rich. They're all about the money. And as you play through the game, you'll find them to be a little obnoxious a little arrogant, but it's charming on, on occasion. One of the things we've added with this game is a couple new fighting moves. So as a pirate, I can execute the, the special move called the Scurvy Strike, which is really, because you're a pirate, is just a bit of a dirty trick. Oh, you can see, and it actually didn't work that well. The Scurvy Strike was she spat in his face, and normally he'll be distracted. You can actually hit the guy pretty hard, but because he's a very skilled swordsman he was spat right back and it didn't phase him at all so let's head downtown now that we've met the nobles look at one more item that item is the interrogation chair now at the interrogation chair I could lock up any sim on in the lot in the neighborhood uh, Harold, poor Harold is hanging around And so, oh, it looks like Carol is actually a priest. I'm going to torture a priest, and I feel very bad about that. But what are you going to do? All right. Now, the game here is, there's actually a game to this. When you need to get information from a sim, and he's in the chair, you want to drive down their will and get it into the yellow. However, you will also want to keep him awake. If he passes out, you lose. So we could do show him the mysterious box. What's in the box? Oh, it's terrifying. Oh, whatever is in that box is horrible. We can also do the chinchilla attack. Now, the, the dire chinchillas are introduced in the base game, and you never saw them. They're actually invisible, the dire chinchillas, but they're obviously unpleasant to have running around your lap. And we're seeing, after she takes it back, we'll see the will meter move. Oh, he actually liked the chinchilla. Sometimes the Sims enjoy their torture, 
Um, and with that, we will run off. And uh, actually, uh, just to speed things up a little bit, I'll mention treasure hunting. Treasure hunting is this cool sort of mini game where you play a game of hot and cold using your shovel and treasure maps. Treasure maps can be bought, they can be found. Um, sometimes you uncover a, treasure, uh, uncover a treasure map that gives you another treasure map. Um, and we could equip our shovel. And then we search for treasure. And I'll just speed up a little bit. We'll dig for treasure over there. And we'll see what she could find. Now, she might find nothing. She might find a small treasure. She might find a big treasure. She might find a tentacle of the pit beast who will drag her into the hole. Oh, it looks like she's not going to have much luck there. Well, maybe over here, maybe? Oh. Oh, I did get a little something. Now, you get small, big. Now, one of the great treasures you might be able to find is the... Oh, what is she doing? She just decided to go. Sims sometimes take on, do what they want. The Sims are alive, and that's why it's so interesting demoing a Sims game. All right, please stop digging. There we go. Now put on. So one of the treasures you could find is the very cool invisible Grim Reaper armor, and that's what she's wearing right now. So there's lots of cool Easter eggy treasures. That they, it looks like she's filling in the hole. So that's how the Pirates and Nobles is a big epic story. So you'll play through a quest system and solve the mystery of what happened between the Pirates and Nobles. You'll collect a lot of cool stuff along the way, a lot of cool pirate stuff, a lot of cool noble stuff. You get the interrogation chair, you get the pirates, uh, parrots, you get the falcons, um, and you get treasure hunting. So you get a lot of content.